In this example, we're going to look at the probability of at least 10 for our next value. And what we're going to work with is um, a probability of success of 65% and a sample size of 12. So we're revisiting this hotel um, visitors example where we have a hotel where 65% of the visitors are from Canada. They sample 12 guests in this example. And again, we want the probability that at least 10 of them are from Canada. There are a bunch of ways of doing this. Let's first look in our number line, if you will, or all of our possibilities at what we would really want for at least 10. So at least 10, just make this uh, red here, at least 10 would be all of these guys here. So 10, 11, or 12. So one way you could do this, if you wanted to do this a little bit more manually, and it's not the way that I would recommend, but here's how you could do it kind of more manually, if you will, uh, is the following. You could go and take and add up, just sum up these um, three probabilities of 10, 11, and 12. I'm going to zoom in on that formula here. So again, you could just do equals sum and grab the probability of 10, 11, and 12 uh, number of visitors being Canadian. The other way you could potentially do it is just go take a complement of everything, um, sorry for all the scrolling, everything uh, before that. So you could do 1 minus the sum of 0 through 9. Now, why am I showing you this manual way? Well, it's to help you better understand the best way to do it in Excel when we use binome.dist. So binome.dist always calculates the value up to and including a certain x value. So for example, if I want the probability of 10, 11, and 12, the best way using binome.dist is to calculate the odds all the way up till nine and then do one minus that, or basically one minus all of those guys. So let's now look at it in the context of uh, the binome.dist call, which I have here, but let's go through it. Um, okay, let's just do this. So the way I would do this calculation using Excel's binome.dist call is the following. I do one minus binome.dist of, now be careful, if I'm including 10 in the range, then I'm going to start at 9. If I want to subtract off everywhere from 0 to 9, I want to get rid of these values. So I'm left with 10, 11, and 12. Do 1 minus binome.dist of the 9, and then grab your n, and then your p. And then cumulative equals to true, because I want it to to include like 0 through 9. When I set cumulative equal to true, it's going to give me the probability all the way up to and including x equals to 9. So it'll give me the probability of 0 plus 1 plus 2, etc, etc, all the way to 9. It will add up all of these guys. And then we subtract from 1 to get the remaining part or the odds of at least 10. So again, just one last recap, binome.dist gives us the area up to, or the probability up to and including an x value. If we want the area above an x value, do one minus binome.dist to get that area. And since 10 was included in the range of values here, we take and subtract one from it for our x range here, so we stop at nine, if that makes any sense. So we use binome.dist of nine, or if you will, that's like 10 minus one. 
So this is the way that I would do it in Excel is using that one minus the binom.dist to give me an answer of 0.1511288 for my probability, or really that's like 15.13% um, chance. At least 10 um, visitors or guests are from Canada out of the 12 uh, guests sampled at the hotel. Okay, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching.